Good morning. Why do we use a Doppler angle of less than or equal to 60 degrees? When we interrogate a vessel, we transmit a frequency from the transducer, which bounces back as a frequency received. The change between the two frequencies is what we call the Doppler shift. Notice that there is an angle between the beam and an imaginary line through the center of the vessel. This is what we call the Doppler angle. We need to know the value of this angle in order to calculate the velocity within the flow. In order to calculate the velocity, we need the change in frequency here, the transmitted frequency, and the cosine of the Doppler angle. A cosine of 60 is 0.5. When we increase it, let's say 70 degrees, the cosine of 70 degrees is 0.34. This smaller value gives us a small divisor here. And that would give us a velocity that is much higher than the real velocity. In this example, a Doppler angle of 60 degrees gives us a velocity of 116. Use of an angle of 70 degrees markedly increases it to 144. So again, why use a Doppler angle of 60 degrees or lower? Because above 60 degrees, small changes in the angle leads to large changes in the value of cosine of the angle. And this would result in a large error in the estimation of the velocity. Thank you for listening.